people that are trying to get their space and they have this long list of all these things you feel like you have to have when you first get your venue, you don't. All you need is a blank canvas space, making my venue look different from other venues in the area. So that seems to be working very well. By me having that alone, that word of mouth advertising is booming because they're like, oh, she offers this. It has to work where it has to work. This next young lady, man, she been crushing it. She been doing it for a couple years now. I want to say she'll say what she's at. I don't know how much she had a month, 20K. I have no clue. Um, I believe she also fired her boss off the information, y'all. Clap it up for that. Shonda Molly! Let's go. Shonda, so I saw last year, I want to say, you got two spaces? Yes. Oh, yeah, because I saw the post, you like, Space one, space, you were able to get two spaces in a year or two years? Like, tell me about your process. I want to say it was almost a year, something okay. like that. Okay, yeah. we, one was working well, and you said, hey, I got to go to a second one. Tell me. I was already wanting another one in my head when I opened up the first one. I was like, slow down. I'm the type that just ready to jump off the porch. Like, yeah. I just jumped out there. Yeah. Didn't have no money, no loans, no credit cards. So how did you do it then? I just jumped out there. <laughs> I just jumped out there. It was a mustard seed of faith. Like, um, God is my business partner, you know. Mm. That's and, a shirt. Um, you should get that shirt. God is my business partner. That joint will sell. He truly is. Like, and it's hard when people ask me, like, how did you start? And I'm going to be like, I'm going to be honest with you. It was spirit led. I yeah. kept seeing a sign, you know, I had a cleaning business, so I was already seeing commercial, you know, businesses and for leasing, and there was this one particular sign, and I was like, I'm gonna call that number, and so I called it, and he was like, I don't think we have anything for nothing like that, and so I followed up. So major key with following up, because he was like, you know what, I got something in Charlotte, because I was looking in a whole different area in Charlotte, Concord. And he found the perp, and I walked in. I was like, oh, my God, this is the event space. Mm. And I just jumped. It's power in the room, y'all, and connections. Like, one person and one piece of information could be the thing that changes it, but you got to make that decision. So, ladies, I would love to know one thing that is working extremely well for y'all right now, because I want people to be able to leave. All right, when I get my space, I could do this. Or when I, I already have a space, I could do this. So if everybody could share maybe one gem that, oh, this is working for me, whether it's getting you more bookings, whether it's freeing up some of your time, whether it's helping with your staff. Um, so talk to me. Listen, I'm the queen of commit first, figure out the rest yeah, later. Yeah. Like, I'm always running different marketing tactics when it comes to my venue. Um, I you noticed- Share what is one that's working. That's, I, I noticed um, draping draping around the venue, making my venue look different from other venues in the area. So that seems to be working very well. Um, and just by me having that alone, that word of mouth advertising is booming because they're like, oh, she offers this. You could drape it, one wall this, one wall this. So that word of mouth is best for me. Y'all could share one extra thing that y'all could be doing that is help y'all bring more revenue in. Actually shared mine with you yesterday. Mine was the bar, because yeah. a couple of my business colleagues and college buddies, you know, they're getting on me. They're like, you leaving money on the table. You know, they're making 4,500 to five grand. I had a college buddy came in town. He was like, all this money could have been yours. Yeah. You know, this is what I made. Yeah. And he was uh, like, that could have been yours. So definitely the I, bar. I, example, yesterday we're, we're using at Memories, that's, Demetrius and Shanika, they're actually in our mastermind. And so my team, they went and bought wine. They went to go serve. Like, no, you gotta have a licensed bartender in here. I said, it's for me. Let me, let me slide. That'll be 800 more. So imagine charging 800 more, you paying a bartender three, 400, and now they pocketing the extra 400. We're about to run out of time. I don't know if y'all wanna share a word of wisdom for anybody um, as we just wrap this up. Just to some encouragement for people that are trying to get their space and they have this long list of all these things you feel like you have to have when you first get your venue, you don't. All you need is a blank canvas space. They, they love it when they walk into a room. Oh, I can do this, I can do that. Allow your customers to pay for your venue. Once you 
find that space. You paint it and your floors are great. Run the play, 50 off. You know, they're going to jump on that and they're going to pay for your tables and your chairs. Or you can reach out to churches to get their tape. That's what we did. We reached out to um, churches that weren't even using their round tables or their church chairs. They had got new chairs. So um, reach out to those. I guess look on Facebook Marketplace. But allow your customers to pay for everything. Don't feel like you have to have everything on your to-do list at the beginning.